The door's gonna fall off. The door's gonna fall off. The door. But she's no. still having a go though. But um Would you like to try? No, because I'll have to fix it. Okay. And yeah. look at these hands. <laughs> We're just about to start a new project and uh, this is what we're going to, we're going to show you exactly what we're doing and what the plan is, what the numbers are and uh, Rajwan, I know Rajwan is going to be asking me questions as well. Hopefully, yes, lots. Lots of, lots of questions. So let's, uh, let's step into your project then, okay. our project. So as we step in, uh, first thing we notice is, look at this. What do you think of that? That's going to go. That's going to go. But can you see how dated that is? Yes, that's probably 70s, maybe 80s. Very good guess there, very good guess. Now, as you can see, the property needs work. A lot of work, yes. A lot of work. So let's have a little span around the room. They've got polystyrene tiles on the ceiling. Polystyrene tiles on the ceiling, absolutely. Look at that, which were I fabulous think, in the 1980s, weren't they? And I think they're... They're illegal now, or they breach building regs or something now? They're uh, not safe. You're, you're absolutely right. So that is all coming out, absolutely. Okay. So this is actually a probate property. So we had someone living here, you know, since the 1950s. And sadly, they passed away um, as an inheritance. Hopefully that wasn't them, because that door just shut by itself. There might be a spirit around. Slight bit of damp on the wall. Yuck. But you see, this yuck are the type of projects that really are golden nugget projects. Now, things like this don't phase us because we know exactly what to do. And to be fair, much of this is really cosmetic. So, you know, it's nothing really to be um, concerned about because, you know, um, we know what to do. And to be fair, anyone um, can actually make this project work. And it is, like I say, very cosmetic. So we bought this property and now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it to a really good condition so that it becomes a letable home for someone. And that's what we're doing to this property. So the strategy for this is, of course, buy to let. Buy to let. That's what we're doing. And that door keeps opening. Stop mentioning the door and closing by itself. Moving forward, purchase price for this property, £120,000. Yes. That was the purchase price. End value, we're looking at 200K to circa 220K is the, the final price, uh, 220K. And uh, when you know, obviously there's a refurbishment in that in there. Now, what you'll find is when you think about these numbers, that this becomes a no money in deal. Now, of course, you're seeing it in this condition now. You will also be seeing it in the condition once the work has been done. Um, and in fact, you know, while the work's going on, for this, so here we are in the kitchen. Kitchen. And uh, a, a kitchen with a carpet. A kitchen with a carpet. Regiment is picking up on the key points. Did you want to just point at the carpet then? Uh, the carpet is down here. There you go. And yeah, yeah, um, bit non-standard now. Ki carpets in kitchens. Don't yeah. Don't see them at all. Oh. Yeah. I'm sitting at the ceiling. It's not polystyrene tiles, but it's some kind of tiles, maybe. Yeah. So think about this as you're looking at this. What would you do with this kitchen? How many units would you fit? Where would you fit them? What would the c c color style be? How would you keep it cost effective? So these are the kind of things that we're discussing, you know, when we buy projects like this. So the boiler hasn't been checked. So we've taken a guesstimate on the, on the boiler. And what we've done is we've factored in the numbers if a boiler required replacement. So very important that you add in these contingencies to make sure you get your numbers right. So there aren't any, um, you know, surprises that you're not happy with, only fun surprises. Of course, this is gonna be all renovated, beautiful. We'll, we'll definitely put a tub in there as well, um, which means that uh, you know, you're actually increasing the clientele, you're, you're increasing the chances of this property being rented at the maximum price because you've got more options. The bathrooms downstairs, um, would it be better to have the bathroom upstairs? Great question. And it's a question I ask myself a number of times. And the answer is, we could, but see, it's a very key point because there is a difference between what people want and actually what people need. So we could put the bathroom upstairs, which would lose a... Lose a room. You lose a room. And how do we measure 
in, in our country, how do we measure uh, values of properties? By the number of bedrooms. By the number of bedrooms, of course. So when it comes to gardens mm -hmm. or yard areas, um, many people, what they do is they spend a lot of money on, uh, on, on the garden. Yeah. What we've got to remember is, you know, we're going to have good quality tenants in here. Mm. So what we aim to do is provide a blank canvas, which means you minimise costs. At the same time, you're, you know, really um, also making sure that there, there are safety, um, you know, safety in place. So we don't provide barbecues. We're not going to have lots of different plants or ponds or anything like that. What we want is a nice, like I say, blank canvas where it's a nice area for people to use as they wish to use. The door's going to fall off. The door's going to fall off. The door. She, no. Brad was too having a go though. But um Would you like to try? No, because I'll have to fix it. Okay. And yeah. look at these hands. <laughs> um but what we're gonna do with this is so my experience in this is these are these kind of places, what we do is we normally just close them off because what you find is if you make it a useful space for tenants, what will happen is that they, you'll find that lots of things, um belongings and things go in there and you end up clearing them out every sort of 18 months or so. Yeah. So for that reason, uh, we'll, what we do this is, we'll just close it off, leave it as it is. Brilliant, right, John? So where are we going now? Um, to the upstairs. Follow us upstairs. So here we have two bedrooms. We're in the first of the two bedrooms here, the master bedroom. And I'm just gonna turn this around and have a little, have a little, uh, uh, have a little look at the, uh, the room. The ceiling seems to have dropped in the corner over there. The ceiling has dropped in the corner. Look at that. Devastating. Doesn't that look terrible? Look at that. Let's, let's get closer to that. Look at that. Now, that would put many people off. You know, yeah. look at that. That's ceiling collapsing. You know, looks really horrible, doesn't it? It does. And all of that. But this is the thing. These are where your golden gems are. So that really is very superficial. Um, it's something that can be fixed very, very easily. Um, that's water ingress that's been coming in over a period of time. Um, the roof is fine now, we checked that because it's all dry, but some, somewhere it had that. Um, so that, uh, the polystyrene tiles, of course, are all coming off anyway. So it's going to be a new ceiling um, and it's going to be lovely once it's done. But you know, these are the kind of things we'll look out for. It's very cosmetic. So now we're looking, checking in on, the, on the, the second bedroom that is here. Now, if you notice, um, one of the telltale signs is to check for the structure and telltale signs for the structure to make sure it's okay. Now, how does this help you with structure? Well, with a dated property, one of the ways that we check structure at Premier is the fact that if it's a dated property and you can't see any cracks anywhere and so on, then you know, th that, that's, actually, that's actually really good. Okay. If it's a dated property and you do see some uh, cracks and so on, even that can be absolutely fine. However, we need a bit more checking though, yeah, so we do a further check on that. However, if it's a property that's been renovated and decorated now, mm -hmm. and it's showing some cracks, that's something to be concerned about because that is showing that there is progressive movement. Mm -hmm.